Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have m plus n equals to 4 and m n equals to 16. So we solve this problem for the values of m and n. So here first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2 uh, and in the next step we uh, <clears throat> first focus on equation number one so our equation number one is implies that this is m plus n equals to four and now here we uh, move this m to the right hand side so it is written as n equals to four minus m and we call this is our equation number three so now we substitute this value of n in equation number two so here <clears throat> our equation number two is implies that this is m n so here we put the value of n is 4 minus m equals to 16 <clears throat> and further uh, in the next step here we multiply uh, this m on both of these terms and it is written as 4m minus m square equals to 16. So further you see here uh, this equation will become quadratic equation but not in standard form. So here first we write this into the standard form uh, by moving the terms in the left hand side to the right hand side. So here this is minus m square when we move in the right hand side it will become plus m square. This is plus 4m becomes minus 4m and this plus 16 equals to 0. So this is uh, the standard form of quadratic equation and now we solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. So here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 4 and c equals to 16. And we know about the quadratic formula it is stated as m equals to uh, uh, minus b plus minus square root of uh, b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the, our uh, quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a, b and c in this formula. So it is written as m equals to minus b and the value of b is minus 4 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and it is divided by 2 times of a so our a is 1. So in the next step here we need uh, some simplifications and now we multiply this minus times of minus becomes plus 4 plus minus a square root of uh, minus 4 square becomes 16 and 4 times of 16 equals to minus 24 and uh, sorry this is minus 64 and this is 2 times of 1 becomes here 2. So uh, in the next step we subtract 16 minus 64 and it is written as 4 plus minus square root of minus 48 and it is divided by 2. So here uh, we need to uh, simplify this equation so we, sep we just apply this radical sign on both of these terms separately so it is written as 4 plus minus uh, square root of 48 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 and now in the next step uh, here uh, we uh, just uh, re uh, rearrange this, these terms are we have 4 plus minus uh, this is a 48 and we write this 48 as 16 times of 3 is 48 and it's all square root and we know that uh, the square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and this is divided by 2. And now in the next step here we need more simplifications and we uh, uh, apply the square root sign on separately on both of these terms and it is written as 4 plus minus. We know that the square root of 16 is equals to 4 into this is square root of 3 
and we uh, break this fraction and we write this two separately on both of these terms so here we have uh, m is equals to this is 2 times of 2 is 4 we get 2 plus minus this is again 2 times of 2 is 4 and 2 into square root of 3 so these are the two values of uh, m uh, and now now uh, we move forward to find the values of n. So here we need equation number 3. So now first uh, our equation number 3 is implies that n equals to 4 minus m. And here we write this, uh, these values of m here. And it is written as m equals to 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 here we write the positive value of m and here we write the negative value of m it is 2 minus 2 into square root of 3 iota here you have iota sign okay so these also iota and iota here so now we substitute these two values of m in this equation so first we substitute this value here and it is written as 4 minus m and the value of m is 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 iota. So here we multiply this minus on both of these terms and it is written as 4 minus 2 minus 2 into square root of 3 iota. So here we get the values of n is 4 minus 2 becomes here 2 minus 2 into square root of 3 iota. So this is the value of n corresponding to the value of m is this one okay so when we uh, make the pair of these m and n so we get the first solution okay so now we move towards to solve this value and now we substitute this value of m in this equation and it is written as n equals to 2 minus uh, uh, sorry this is 4 minus m and here we have 4 minus m the value of m is 2 minus 2 into square root of 3 iota so here we multiply this minus sign on both of these terms and it is written as minus 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 iota so here we get the value of n equals to 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 iota so this is the value of n corresponding to the value of m is this one so finally we have uh, the two roots of the given equation are the first root is mn equals to 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 iota and the value of n is 2 minus square root of 3 iota and similarly the second uh, solution of the given equation is mn equals to 2 minus 2 into square root of 3 iota and the value of n is 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 iota so these are the two solutions of the given equation and now the time to verify these solutions is these solutions are satisfied over given equation or not so that here uh, i can just verify the one solution and i will left the other solution for to you okay so uh, here we first copy down the given equations so first equation is m plus n equals to 4 and the second equation is m n equals to 16. so now we substitute the first solution here these values of m n so uh, it will be written as the value of m is 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 iota and the value of n is 2 minus 2 into square root of 3 iota equals to 4 so this is the negative and positive term are gone and we get 2 plus 2 is 4 equals to 4. So this shows that uh, the value of mn is satisfied the first equation and now we move towards our second equation. So here we put the value of m is 2 plus 2 into square root of 3 iota and the value of n is 2 minus 2 into square root of 3 iota equals to 16. So in the next step we have a plus b into a minus b it is equals to 2 square minus 2 into square root of 3 iota, 3, uh, iota square and its whole square equals to 16 so 2 square is 4 and this 2 square is 4 and the square of 2 and square root becomes 3 and iota square equals to iota square equals to 16. 
and here we have this is 4 minus 4 3 is a 12 and this iota scale equals to minus 1 so this minus time minus becomes plus and this is equals to 16 so 4 plus 16 is 16 equals to 16 so this shows that the second value of m and n are satisfied the second equation and this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos